变形了，那个有色的。多么多点的这些些花，那种花样的花，做的像叶子，花当小树的模样。给我这些花，几天一见花，几天一见，啥高楼一把。半拉梅波罗达梅那吉多波萨耶中吉德，贝杰沃小雅图波拉恰达，多多加苏杰，多波阿中德德德西恩西波，拉中波亚达波多波萨耶热波达恰多德。德瓦罗谢波吉德吉波吉乌德，巴罗尤波拉那梅波拉达梅那姆吉德波桑吉江德，德吉瓦罗谢吉乌波拉恰泽，德多加泽吉乌乌德波江德德德吉谢瓦拉江。阿达波多波萨耶，波达夏泽德波德瓦拉谢波，吉德杰波吉乌杜勒卡鲁吉波拉纳梅波阿达梅纳吉多波萨耶吉米勒，萨吉阿图波拉扎德罗吉图吉阿图吉。我怕这个你做我的当事，杀鸡得了公婆的夫人。万里一定得拿出这种，得自己把酒拉下去。当他跟我出的时候，我一起给做这些人不着。他把这些书拿到门外，公婆就去酒拉下去。咱就点把这门打开，叫三度茶花酒拉下去。这个叫那谁把书拿起，伢们跟进去拉下去。我不读几千点吧，他们几千百点吧。到那一天，叫读几得几千拉下去。大白的讲着我有一个念头来说起，解读的那句句话，几个几拉下去。昨天昨天我两顿，老婆他妈的，今天他妈一点点，跟着那样吃的。你把这样没家心，给我不是能错过。让给谁呢？要住的，谁呢？三个点吧，人。干嘛热热嘛热的，干嘛热我就不热的。没那么老大，真大不？自己去拿的大的，都能的。别让这嘴巴一过，我都能给你扎的。看他拿到七位拉出来，几百撮的肉啊，这不是肉。To the founder, the endowed transcendent destroyer, the one gone beyond, the full destroyer, the completely perfected, fully awakened being, perfect in knowledge and in good conduct, Sugata, nor of the world, supreme guide of human beings to be tamed, teacher of gods and human beings, you, the completely and fully awakened one, the endowed and transcendent destroyer, the glorious conqueror, the subduer from the Shakya clan, I prostrate, make offerings, and go for refuge. When the supreme among humans, you were born on this earth, you faced out seven strides and said, "I am supreme in this world." To you who are wise, then I prostrate. With pure bodies, form supremely pure, wisdom ocean like a golden mountain, fame that blazes in the three worlds. Winner of the vast Lord, to you I prostrate. With the supreme sign, face like the spotless moon, color like gold, to you I prostrate. 
You are immaculate, three worlds are not. Incomparably wise one to you, I prostrate. The Savior having great compassion, the founder having all understanding, the field of merit with qualities like a vast ocean, to you, the one God to thusness, I prostrate. The purity which makes one free from attachments, the virtue which frees one from the lower realm, the one path, the sublime pure reality, to that dharma which pacifies, I prostrate. Those who are liberated and who also show the path of liberation, the holy field qualified with realizations, who are devoted to the moral precepts, to you, the sublime community and intending virtue, I prostrate. Do not commit any non-virtuous actions, perform only perfect virtuous actions, subdue your mind thoroughly, this is the teaching of the Buddha. A star, a mirage, a flame of a lamp, an illusion, a drop of dew or a bubble, a dream, a flash of lightning, a cloud, see conditioned things as such. Through these merits, may sentient beings attain the rank of all seeing, subdue the fall of faults, and be delivered from some sadhus ocean, perturbed by waves of aging, sickness, and death. Ah, <laughs>
Thus I have heard, once the Blessed One was dwelling in Rajagriha on vultures feet, together with a great assembly of monks and bodhisattvas. At that time, the Blessed One was totally absorbed in the concentration that examines all phenomena called profound illumination. And at the same time, the noble Avalokiteshvara, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, was engaged in the profound practice of the wisdom gone beyond, analyzing the five aggregates by nature and being. Then, through the inspiration of the Bhutta, the Venerable Sharifatra spoke to the noble level of Kateshvara, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, saying, How should those of good family learn who wish to follow the profound practice of the wisdom gone beyond? Thus he spoke, and the noble level of Kateshvara, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, replied to the Venerable Sharifatra, saying, O Sharifatra, whatever son or daughter of good family wishes to follow the profound practice of the wisdom gone beyond, should look at it like this, analyzing the five aggregates by nature empty. Form is empty, emptiness is form. Emptiness is no other than form. Form is no other than emptiness. In the same way, feeling, recognition, cosmic formations, and consciousness are all empty. Therefore, Shadipatra, all phenomena are empty without characteristics. They are unborn and unceasing. They are neither impure nor free from impurity. They neither decrease nor increase. Therefore, Sarikutra and emptiness, there is no form, no feeling, no recognition, no karma formation, no consciousness. There is no eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind. There are no spheres of the eyes up to no spheres of the mind. There are none of these all the way up to the sphere of mental consciousness. There is no ignorance, nor is there destruction of ignorance. There are none of these all the way up to there is no old age and death, nor is there destruction of old age and death. Thus, there is no suffering, no cause of suffering, no cessation of suffering, and no path. There is no wisdom, no attainment, and no non-attainment. Therefore, Shariputra, because there is no attainment, all bodhisattvas hold to the wisdom gone beyond, and because there is no obscurity of fear, mind they have no fear. Passing utterly beyond falsity, and they reach beyond the bounds of sorrow. All the Buddhas who dwell in the three times by relying on the wisdom gone beyond, fully and clearly awakened to unsurpassed, most perfect and complete enlightenment. Therefore, the mantra of the wisdom gone beyond, the mantra of great insight, the mantra of unequal consequence mantra, the mantra that comes all suffering should be known as the truth, for there is no deception. The mantra of the wisdom gone beyond is proclaimed. Dayada gande gande bara gande bara sam gande bunne O Shatipatra, and this is how a Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, should learn the profound wisdom of God. Yeah. Then the Blessed One arose from that concentration and praised the noble level of the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, saying, Very good, very good, O son of good family. It is exactly like that. The profound wisdom of God should be practiced exactly as you have said. And then the Tathagata will rejoice. When the Blessed One has said this, the Venerable Shariputra, the Noble level of Kateshvara, that whole gathering in the world is with God, men, and the gods and spirits, their hearts full of joy, praise the words of the Blessed One. So ends the Noble Discourse on the essence of the wisdom can be asked. <coughs> But now it is Sunday morning when we resume the great treatise on the stages of the path to enlightenment as an introduction to the path of the Buddha Dhamma. In order to first engage in study in the great treatise on the stages of the path to enlightenment, there must be an original enthusiasm and desire to do so. And as this is the case, it is necessary to refine one's intention so that it reflects that enthusiasm. So it is then that in the great importance of refining one's intention, when that intention has been refined, then any undertaking that follows it, any activity that follows it, will become the virtuous result of that refined intention, which was its cause. And so we emphasize the importance 
of refining one's intention. Oh, yeah, that's a long time to change your name. You're in Bob Koran, Lord, and she gave you a Hindu, and it comes to church, she had to watch him mature. No, she never can say that to watch him mature, drop who you are. Oh, did draw at the swing was not good long to be so or less. Now, as the present topic is the great treatise on the stages of the path of enlightenment, the Mahayana text, the instruction being a Mahayana instruction, then the listener must be a Mahayanist in their listening, and this would follow then from their refinement of their mind in their listening. Oh, yes, Tomato the refined intention that is required in the Mahayana Dharma is a divestment first from bias self-interest, that preoccupation with food, clothing, and reputation for oneself, and an observation of the experience of hardship and satisfaction among others, and a determination to endow those others with lasting contentment to alleviate their suffering and to this end to necessarily achieve Buddhahood for it is through Buddhahood that the ultimate contentment may be provided to sentient beings the divestment from bias self-interest and the commitment to the well-being of others thereby being the Mahayana refined intention. More this refined intention motivates the exchange related to the Bhatta Dharma in the dialogue that occurs now when we gather together. As we gather and begin the exchange, instruction in the Dharma, listening to the Dharma, if the intention is to have this activity ensure contentment in this lifetime and alleviate suffering in this lifetime, merely this and nothing more, then this is not a dharma pursuit. Where the intention is instead to ensure that these things benefit us subsequently in lives to come, ensuring contentment, alleviating suffering, then it is consistent with the Dharma. However, this is not the Mahayana Dharma. The Mahayana Dharma requires that bodhicitta inform all activities. Where bodhicitta is conjoined with any activity, and where it is recognized that bodhicitta is the underlying cause for the achievement of buddhahood, this is the Mahayana intention. Oh, this is it. That's why you did not talk along this one to some of the church is it that you have a church in that nobody. That was a cousin to a church, a true one to a church, a true good man, a church to what you may not do that. Tell us that he not that church to what it's honey. That was a lambim, shagum chess. Lamjirimba. 
This refinement of the mind having occurred, then one engages in the discussion and exchange of the Dharma. And principally now we are concerned with the preliminary practices that are six preliminary rites. We have completed the first five preliminary rites. And in the sixth preliminary rite, the integration of the oral instruction into one's own mind stream. This too, in petition, we have completed. And now we turn to the overview of the stages of the path meditation. That is, in all the stages of the path and their diversity, which include the stages of the path for the Dharma of lesser scope, the stages of the path of the Dharma of the middling scope, both of which are in common with the stages of the path of greatest scope in their diversity. When we recall these stages of the path and review them, all of these being steps and stages on the path, this is a review. The review meditation then is informed by our turning our attention to the foundation of all good qualities as our point of departure for the review meditation of the stages of the path. Oh, yes, I don't know. I love Jibu Sumji, Lamji Riba. I don't know what turbot, a turbis turned the sum, and a gom or what a gom, but the toad, gomet, yam and toad, the gom, gom the rangy chula to Jared or what a do, a gom sing it, and he that hung a big watch in a journey. And he rang a big watch, big watch, pocket, big watch in a day, and he tell a rangy sing part. In the dharmas of the three scopes, which we study and contemplate, and ultimately which we meditate upon, a practice being principally and especially a meditation, for the purpose of integrating the object of awareness into the mind, one hovers upon with attention their object of meditation so that in great resolution and granularity it is intermixed with the mind thoroughly. This is the integration and the drawing in of the object of the meditation that happens in meditation. Hmm, the gateway to the path is devotion to the spiritual guide. The foundation of all good qualities begins with indication of how it is one is to properly re rely upon the spiritual mentor. This begins in the faithless mind being made over again into a faithful mind with faith and devotion for the spiritual mentor, such that the mind that is faithful is integrated into the mind that was faithless, so that a faith in the spiritual mentor is achieved, the power that comes from it is gotten by the meditator so that they may rely upon the spiritual mentor who is the very gateway to the path. 
Deeper this is the illustration that whatever the stage of the path, one is rebuffing the mental affliction, rebuffing afflicted minds turning away from afflicted minds so that the mind may be poised single-pointedly upon virtuous mindsets, attending usually to afflicted minds. One reduces afflicted minds, enhancing one's poise and composure with virtuous minds, as object of meditation, and this is meditation so that the mind becomes accustomed to virtuous attitudes. Hmm, so that comes to the end of some big day, said that what she does, Jogom, she does, and she's a yineta, come with an a chegum de, that you know, so whichever she gives in some of the time, Penang of the time. Meditation is associated with closed eyes and a stabilization meditation. Yes, generally speaking, it is. However, the examination that may also go on in a meditation too, the reflection involved in meditation such careful reflection as to state a subject and the predicate and then the reason and then an example in a reasoned argument, this to be an analytic meditation is to meditation. Mm. Meditations are not exclusively meditations upon virtuous karmas. One meditates in afflicted minds. One may meditate in virtuous minds. One may meditate upon anger. That is when the mind concentrates upon any object of meditation, be it anger or another, this is meditation. <laughs> Meditating in anger would be to see the object that provokes the anger, recall that this is one's adversary, this is one's enemy. This is one's enemy because they have harmed me. They have said such and such a thing about me. They have harmed me in just this way and that way. And they're sure to harm me again. Reasoning it out about this person, the object of anger, 
in such a way that one's anger increases. This is a meditation in anger. At present, regarding the great treatise and meditations within it, meditations upon the stages of the path, these are meditations for ensuring contentment and alleviating suffering. Choosing an object of meditation that will alleviate su suffering and enhance contentment. <laughs> Evidently, <laughs> The foundation of all good qualities with the verses. The precious freedom of this rebirth is found only once, understanding that it is difficult to find again and is greatly meaningful day and night. Take the essence. Please bless me to generate this mind unceasingly. This life is as impermanent as a water bubble. Remember how quickly it decays and death comes. This is instruction in meditation upon momentariness and death. So that realization arise in the mind, so that one rely upon the spiritual mentor and increase their realization. These Indications of imminent death and momentariness of life, the present life, and the extraordinary basis for practice that is the human body is significant for its leisures and endowments and of great importance. It mustn't be wasted. It must be put to use. The methods available for making full use of this Exceptional basis, the human body is presented here. Oh, yeah, that the big tension with him, but the near car with him, but the damn bit six or two in, but today, you buy in nine youngs. And for that, she does sit on it. That mommy doing seven machines in about God, where you know, and that the cocaine should I get some who came out as the nation, it's a true care money, give what you might care money in a pot, cocaine money, my case. Yamaki, <clears throat> this human life as extraordinarily significant. This human life as impossibly difficult. To ever come by. This human life is easily lost. All this true, yet, if it were simply that the human life after death were but a light that was 
once extinguished, now always extinguished, it would be another thing. However, in recognition of subsequent life events, that our continuity is not snuffed out at death, but continues on into subsequent lives, as this is our view, we are invested in the experiences those subsequent lives will entail for us. Whoever we are, we are certain to wish for fortunate prospects in lives to come. And as, as this is most certainly our wish, then one must practice, one must meditate. This is the emphasis here. โอ้ที่ดีอยู่ตรงมาตาชีวิตเจสุอยู่ตรงชั้นมาชีกานาเลเจเจชั้นวะลาซะโมยะตามาตัวชิซะเวเจลาอันนี้ตาคือยอเร
then what is one to do then? One is to put into practice what they would with a view to karmic causality. One would study that karmic causality, contemplate it and meditate upon it. Oh,呀,他累,什么,他累,就这,什么,他,什么,他,什么,他,什么,他,什么,他,什么,他,什么,他,什么,他,什么,他,什么,他,什么,他,什么,他,什么,他,什么,他,什么,他,什么,他,什
follows from its specific cause, from virtues, come contentments, from non-virtues, pain and discontents. There's no ambiguity here. Oh, yeah, that you were delayed. Pechoas, le pelchoas, the Ju Kewatan, the Bakarina Yang, called Chuju Chile Chemenayan, Tibu Dewat, Gonna Le Kewat, Chuju Chile, Tibu Dewat Chimbu Yoyada, Ju Tibu Chuju Chile, Tibu Dunga Chimbu, the Yoy Boko Le, Ju Chuju Men and Tibu Dewat Chimbu Yapea Yuba. Lay Pacha was to the mud leg to put their pet with Mahalo, the chair to the yard, the hotel of Pacha was about his own. That karmas are increasing indicates any and every karma, virtuous karma, non virtuous karma, whatever the case may be. Should it be an originally negligible karma? Say a relatively trivial virtuous karma. Nevertheless, through the increasing of karma, that originally negligible virtuous karma becomes cause for a very large result in contentment. And any relatively small non virtue too increases such that the result that is pain following from a negligible non-virtue becomes very significant, originally small, the karma, yet through the principle of increasing karma, they grow in their results more numerous and greater. Oh, yeah. Chinjima, Illustrating this, the planting of a seed that grows into a mighty tree with its trunk and its branches, its many leaves, and ultimately its fruits. In the beginning, the mere seed is so small that one may hold it in one's hand and then one plants it and it grows. It grows into the mighty trunk with the many branches and many leaves and then the tree produces fruit and continues to do for a long time this result from the small seed. And from the small virtuous karma follow the results that are consumed and enjoyed eon after eon Contentment for eons from originally a very small virtuous karma. And so, too, from a small, originally small, non virtuous karma, eons upon eons, consuming the result of that small negative karma in hell realms of intolerable suffering. <laughs> Big <laughs> Oh, did it seem that Timber quality is similar to the Timber the Cane Lamming? You call it this taking the last love. And Jellico simply George in the Majava City, the Senate of Majavina, Yawakia, or the Decazin Junior Share or the Senate. Lay Chinjuji, some of some of Tango, some Tango, nor your Chinjuji. They can't love a ticket, Yawata, either the Kiku or Yina, 
So then the result from the cause that is non-virtuous karma spoken of to in the Bodhicharya Avatara, the way of the Bodhisattva in the third chapter, where it is indicated to that should one merely think to give generously something to another, maybe only a bit of food, and at that point, only the mere thought to give a bit of food to another in need. If one should think to do that and then have a change of heart because of one's greed, then that change of heart becomes a non-virtue that ensures one's rebirth as a preta. And this by the mere force of having thought to give generously and then having a change of heart. And there too, in the Bodhicharya Avatara too, indicated that should one think to give generously and then speak, committing oneself, saying, I will give generously. And then again, to have a change of heart by one greed and not give generously by the force of having spoken that commitment and then renege, then that negative karma results in birth in a hell realm. Here exemplify how from a negligible karma, tremendous results are the consequence. And here in the Prajna realm and the hell realm, that result, result, result is borne out for an intolerably long time, filled with tremendous pain and suffering. The original karma is small, but the result tremendous. Good And to the experience of Shari Putra, that interlocutor or the questioner in the Prajnaparamita Hridaya, there in the Heart Sutra, Shari, Shari Putra makes his inquiry. Shari Putra was preeminent among the disciples of the Buddha for his wisdom. And that wisdom was a result of having met the mural depicting the Vada Bhagavan in a past life and meeting the mural, the depiction of the Vada. Sariputra at that time thought, oh, may, might I meet with such a person and learn from them and made this prayer, having met the image of the Vada. And by the force of the prayer, Shariputra was born into the retinue of the Vata, but not only that, born with the keenest faculty, the keenest wisdom of all among the retinue. And Chidarhatship, this the result of that prayer having met with the image of the Vata. Hmm? <laughs> This account of Shariputra is a demonstration of the property of karmic causality that the karmas are increasing. 
from small cause, a great result will be consequence. Thus, this demonstration through the story of Shatabhutra. But then again, where there is no responsibility for a given karma, one will not meet the result of that particular karma, whether the karma is non-virtue or a virtue, if one is not responsible for it, one does not meet the result of it. Oh, yeah, that she was late, but she missed our study, and that she had the cousin, Le Mache, Le Mache, but the Machena, what Le Machena, Jebukaya Tayamelva, Le Mache, but the Mitchevas, let's use the Giddy Kaya Salmon, Jebu Tidukaya, and I'm ever said that Jebu Lesatana, Jebu Chu Missaus, Lady Lady Jawasa, the Gosatana, and it Jebu. Never to Chunga, a Jordu and Mela, did not cheat me so off at the Shiva Terrace. Followed by the fourth principle of karma causality that karmas do not naturally diminish. Where the third indicates that where one is not responsible for a given karma, one most certainly will not experience its result here in the fourth. Where one is responsible for a karma, certainly one will will experience its result, whether the cause is a virtue or a non-virtue. The result is assured, respectively, contentment and pain. Where one is responsible for a karma, the karmas are not naturally diminishing, so one will meet with its result. Oh, yeah, that you give a chesha, you know, you give us a sha, you know, you conjure down lot of marginal, they would give a chung and go to dry, go to dry your marriage. Where one has accumulated virtuous karmas, so long as there is no wrong view and anger does not eliminate the karmas, one will experience the re results of virtuous karmas. Oh, yeah, that did not see you. The was such a you did. You put top the margin, they would do me to have margin or poverty or your mother to me in your part of your good response. And do for one is responsible for non virtuous karmas and has not applied antidote powers. Certain are pain and suffering as a result. There is no hope that there will be any other outcome apart from pain and suffering, the natural result of negative karmas. Oh, yeah, that is when you would deserve that look you down, deserve your mama, so I get that you would chumogi, let you take a number of souls to shake out to deserve that look you down, give us in my younger years. Accounts demonstrating this will come up naturally. In the context of dharma of lesser scope and the presentation of karmic causality there, where accounts of karmic causality are their own section. Oh yeah, that one's a bit fast. And that one's a bit cassette dana. Leg in this and butter, now will uh this one of us and now will. Lenders about the cobble, and there's some boss, there's cut china, and it said there was something to do with them. Now, if we further clarify this through consideration of black karmic causality, of non virtuous karmas, and white karmic causality, of virtuous karmas, this might be concerning. Oh, yeah, that's been a nobule, some boss in nobule, some boss in the end, and a nobule, some boss in the end. And in Nabu with Nabule, Nabule Lamu, and in Le Chiang Chabber, Le Chi with a young Siro, and in then Leg Jebus, that are Leg Jebu can lay you with all two spots, this is soon as the shaking is one. Alain, the Chico and Saluda, and the Gerson Jebuta, the Dag 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 Jebuta, Nabu leg, the lamus. What is soon? 
เลตะกอเดกะเรมะเตเลตะเซนะนี่ตะตีโยรวะเลตะนาบุกะเลยมอดอกันเดกันเลยมีเสียกันอ่ะเจตัมเตเนอันนี้อันนี้เจตินซุ
The second theft is to take the wealth of another through coercion, through deceit. ま、ジェネレスタロイエムジェオイエムリザンバチョバスロイエムリザンバチョバスイディアネトレジャマイバタ and the third sexual misconduct, which is sexual activity engaged in with an inappropriate other. Ordinarily for the bhikshu, it's a it's a different regulation, but more generally speaking, an inappropriate companion and sexual activity, be it one's mother or an ordain, ordained bhikshuni or a bhikshu, or another who is inappropriate by virtue of their age being young. Engaging in sexual activity with such a person is sexual misconduct. Verbal, verbal non virtuous paths of action begin with lying. To lie is to speak. Inconsistent with fact to depart from fact. Oh, yeah, then it's Chamas, Chama de la Shingi Chevon, Sigma was Shimirangi, Pay Shingi, Pagazi Sheva in a Jetnam Buta Karita, Cherry Karachik in a Teller Rangi, and he tap a sick Rangi Magavat on the Shanna text, and he gets a German Sheva the restaurant. Second, slander, which is expression or speech, whatever the nature of expression that is conveying a dislike for another. Oh, yeah, then that's a good thing. This change is shell and never see my was. She made Pajum on a bed, no yak at that. Pogan never chevet on it, Chick Pajum on a that Chick Pogan of Kandar Chick Maga or Chevot, never chevet on a Chick Mart, it's a good response. Harsh speech is speech that would harm another, injure another from a dislike for the other. To injure them through speech is to engage in rough speech. Oh, yeah, then it's not the way my kids, my kids, and then I'll do to you, me, Tom, and sit back. If you tell me that she had that in it, but she's over the top, get them you move on the bed, Tom, and wish she had to come on. I just had their lessons. And gossip are any of those stories and tales told under the sway of mental afflictions? Oh, 
Non-virtuous paths of action that are mental begin with covetousness. Covetousness is the mind that wishes to possess the wealth of another, material property. Yes, wealth that is the property of another. The mind that considers, I need that, just that, their wealth. If I don't have such wealth, it won't do, I must have it. This is covetousness, the first. Oh, yeah. Second, maliciousness. Maliciousness is hostility toward another. Oh, yeah, that in a lot that it a legend in never doubt shall legend in legend in never does not tell it. Lot that's her husband. And the third non virtuous karma that is mental is wrong view, that is denial of karmic causality. Oh, yeah, that was the deal. Miguel juicing it, Mojutche. Oh, yeah, that Miguel juicy, and it done and call Karis Miguel Chayag. These then the, the ten non-virtuous paths of action. They are caused by principally the three poisons, the afflicted minds. The afflicted minds see to it that actions occur and that they are the ten non-virtuous paths of action. Oh, yes. That you move to some of the progress, no? I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to Afflicted minds ensure non virtuous actions, which, respectively, in the case of desirous attachment, desirous attachment ensures sexual misconduct that physical, non-virtuous path of action. Desirous attachment ensures covetousness, that mental, non-virtuous path of action. Desirous attachment, too, returning again to physical, non-virtuous paths of action, causes theft, too. These three caused by desirous attachment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Then, taking again physical non virtuous paths of action, murder is ensured by aversion. That mental non virtuous path of action. Maliciousness ensured by aversion. Verbal non virtuous path of action, harsh speech caused by aversion too. These three caused by aversion. And wrong view is ensured caused by thoroughly ignorance. Oh, yeah, that in the current hires, and that doing the magic on the sun ladder, Tamache, and in doing it, Tamache, and in Kalas, and doing it, Tamache, and six to Rosa, six to Rosa, that I lost there, doing someone, doing someone, doing someone, doing someone, doing someone, doing 
now three three remind three remain three non virtuous paths of action three non virtuous paths of action that are verbal three remain they are lying gossip slander lying gossip and slam slander are insured cause and insured by all three of the three poisons together. And now I will speak to the relative gravity of these non virtuous paths of action. That is to say, this non virtue is, is graver, uh, this, the lighter non virtue. Oh, the relative weight of a non-virtuous path of action, the relative weight of a of a karma is determined by six factors. The first is the perpetual or continual nature of the action, if it is perpetual, continual. Second, the the inclusion of multiple afflicted minds in the action. That is, many afflicted minds collected together, causing 
Sakara. Third, the execution of the action. Fourth, the absence of application of any antidote power. Fifth, determined by the basis. Sixth, determined by essence. The first factor weight by Continuity of action indicates that where a karma occurs continuously, uninterruptedly, today and again tomorrow and so on, based upon this continu continual enactment of the karma, it's greater weight. Oh, yeah, that in a number of duties which you are saying, Eddie, but it's not you move shoot trouble. There's Second factor, weight by the involvement of multiple afflicted minds indicates that where desirous attachment and aversion and ignorance are all present and causing non-virtuous paths of action, they will be of greater weight. Oh, <laughs> Wait, third, wait by execution or enactment is the relative weight of karma by virtue of the ardency, the intensity in the enactment of the given karma such that it is Intense that the action is intense in beginning stages through the middle and on to the completion of the action. All of the non virtuous virtuous paths of action that in their enactment are filled with ardor and intensity will make for greater weight to the karma. Weight determined by absence of the application of antidote power indicates that where there is no remorse following an action and the other antidote powers go unapplied, then the karma will be of relatively greater weight. That's <laughs> あの、で、ミギオチュサイ The fifth relative weight of a karma determined by the basis 
indicates that where the number of sentient beings harmed is very great. Determined by their number, the greater weight of the negative karma. Where the object harmed, persons harmed, have exceptional qualities, the non-virtuous paths of action directed and harming these as basis will determine a karma of greater weight. So to the basis that is exceptional kindness, namely one's mother and father, where these are the basis harmed by a non-virtuous path of action, this will determine the karma's greater weight. And where the basis object harmed are those already in pain, experiencing great pain and suffering, this determines a karma of relatively greater weight. Oh, yeah, that's more than you tell us. The more you tell us, 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 the relative weight of a karma is the essence of the non-virtuous path, path of action. There are 10 non-virtuous paths of action. The first three are physical, the following four are verbal. Among these, <clears throat> they are of increasing weight, beginning with the physical, relatively lighter and the verbal relatively greater. Oh yeah, you go to some day? Mama Nama the Chima Chima Chiva this one. Dre is la I much ignore some my pity chick nurse. Draw any soft chip the any drop or so chip the drop of the any young chidi young chidi and the chima chima and the gamma gamma le chewa chico chewa 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 どうなこれ<笑> The relative uh, weight of the karmas begin heavier and and become lighter as one counts up. Correction. By the interpreter. Whereas the final mental non-virtuous paths of action begin lighter and counting upward become heavier. That is, covetousness is relatively light, lighter than maliciousness. Maliciousness lighter relatively than wrong view. <laughs> This, the relative weight of a karma determined by its essence, is a general is a general measure, uh, which applies generally speaking to each class of physical, verbal, and mental actions relative to others in that class, but then taking into account the other factors which determine, determine relative weight, these other of these six factors, 
then there are different measures naturally and they are emitted. Oh, yeah, pretty much the gloves in the back, the Tigi on the gloves in the other Tau Mark and the Poma to the day of it. Oh, and then on the day shot and it in it, on the day seen, said Mana Tawayo with a massive in it and it on the day. So what you was on. No, so this would be the lesson for today. That these are all relatively clear uh, matters and there should be no difficulty in understanding them. But then uh, any other doubts that there may be, any other questions there may be, we can use the question and answer time uh, to engage in a debate. What was the last thing you said? That last part? About there being many other factors? もうごね、もうごねに安乐。ら。安乐よろ。ゆなで、ちゃんとけじゃろ。ゆなに、れ、せらばれれら、あに、ちょ、れれら、あに、てね、あに、安乐にちばるんだよ。まぼよろ。お
frequency of the karma, all of those variables put together make karma remarkably complex as opposed to simple. How do we think about um, karma in a way that is multi-balanced as opposed to a single variable? ね、ですね、南方で、で、ですね、ドアね、で、ですね、レイキムレイキムレイキムレイキムレイキムレイキムレイキムレイキムレイキムレイキムレイキムレイキムレイキムレイキムレイキムレイキムレイキムレイキム
Now, just as in 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 warfare, if one imagined having to dispense with each each adversary one by one, one would imagine it would take a great deal of time and be of great expense. But should one use one bomb one time, which would eliminate the adversary in one fell swoop, then the then the prospect would be thought much more manageable. So it is to in how we would practice. But but in this in this illustration, who who's who's firing missiles and who's and who's the adversary? Bodhicitta, we're speaking of Bodhicitta, and where Bodhicitta is the weapon for one fell swoop, then all follows naturally. So it is then that with the development of the mind of awakening bodhicitta in the mind, and when bodhicitta observes emptiness, then this is the, in a single moment, the Complete annihilation of all afflicted minds. Oh, so all the dense textbooks and all the elaborate explanations can be condensed into just this. Except subsequent lives acknowledge that one would establish contentment in subsequent lives and recognize that the mind of awakening is just that which ensures it. So it is in the refinement of the intention at the outset one develops bodhicitta. Then bodhicitta <laughs> informs the enactment of the very mind of awakening in the trainings. And then in conclusion, bodhicitta, the mind of awakening, bestows upon one the state of Buddha. <laughs> And with that, the achievement of the ground of Buddhahood, the every wish of every sentient being may be achieved. Um, this is just a point of clarification. Um, and uh, I'm speaking along with what was said about how important to have the mind, uh, the virtuous mind of bodhicitta uh, that would lead us to enlightenment and so on. Um, when we talk about non-virtue, wouldn't it also start with the mind that would wait the most? Because from what I heard, um, and I could be wrong with that. Uh, it was said that increasing weight of non-virtue begins um, from lighter to heavier, counting upward. That means the weight of non-virtue, of mental uh, non-virtues are lighter than the weights going upward through verbal and body non-virtues. Um, 
So back to my um, question. Um, and I know that there are other mental factors or other factors of, of you know, circumstances involved in, in the weight, the relative weights of increasing, uh, uh, the relative increasing weights of non-virtue. But uh, I think, and this, please let me know if, if my understanding is incorrect, is that everything starts with the mind. And so the mental non-virtue should weight the most, should have the most uh, relative uh, weight than other non-virtues counting up. <laughs> で、あの、ルーダンは、ね、やるしで、自己調和。うん。調和で。うん。え、ごはんだ。だから、だって、ペナで、チェシュで、あの、すんぎ、調和で、そう、言語。ライズのでスンギ、あの、ルーダンは、
ワッティバチアジティネダネスンコンドチコンドデータコナンチダネニヤバチムレディナコンドデナニモナネメラマゾチチチゾダネイメネコネバチショコンドチゲレアンティナシコゲジェブデトゲデコチシュヨレチェダ
From my two collections, the access space that I've amassed from working with effort and this practice for a great length of time, may I become the chief leading Buddha for all those whose minds list of eyes blind to light here. Even if I do not reach this state, may I be held in your loving compassion for all my lives, my history. May I find the best of the paths of the complete teachings, and may I please all the Buddhas by practicing. Using skillful means drawn by the strong force of compassion, may I clear the darkness in the minds of all beings with the points of the path as I have discerned them. May I follow Buddha's teachings for a very long time. With my heart going out with great compassion, in whatever direction the most precious teachings, have not yet spread or once spread have declined. May I offer this treasure of happiness to create all sentient beings. May the minds of those who wish for liberation be granted bounteous peace, and the Buddha's deeds be nourished for a long time by following the complete graduate and path of enlightenment and the wondrous virtuous conduct of the Buddhas and their sons. May all human and non-human beings that eliminate adversity and make things conducive for practicing the excellent paths never be parted in any of their lives from the purest path raised by the Buddha. Whenever someone makes different act in accordance with the tenfold Maya and a virtuous practice, may he always be assisted by the mighty ones, and may oceans of prosperity spread everywhere. <laughs> I dedicate whatever virtues I've ever collected for the benefit of the teachings and of sentient beings, and in particular for the essential teaching of Venerable Lozan Drapa that shines forever. In the land encircled by snowy mountains, you are the source of all happiness and good, all powerful sinners extending up Please remain until cyclic existence is ended. This is the brave Majushri and the Mandavata Jew, realize things as they are. Also, I dedicate all these merits in the best way, that I may follow their perfect example. I dedicate all these fruits of virtue, the dedication praise of the best, by the victorious thus gone ones of the three times, so that I might perform the noble blessed of the deed. May the supreme jewel of Ajita that has not arisen or rise and grow, and may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. Yes, Chairo, which is what?